Today I'm sharing 15 cleaning habits that have transformed my home and made it easier to keep it clean. If you like videos on simple living, decluttering, and cleaning, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tidy as you go is one of the best habits that I have implemented in my daily routine. So that could be as simple as seeing something that is not in its right place, picking it up as I'm heading into that room and setting it down. Here I have some things hanging outside to dry and I was walking by so I decided I would grab them and just put them away since I was already heading in the right direction anyways. And here we have something else. So as you see, it's easy to implement this. A place for everything and everything in its place. This is a saying that my parents always said. I never really understood it, but now I do as a mom of three boys. It is way easier to stay on top of everything if we have a home for all of the items that live in our house. It's very simple to do this. I just find a place where I'm going to put all the items that we need and I always put the item back where it goes. And this is a great way to stay organized very easily because we know, okay, the blanket needs to get put away. It goes into this plastic container for that season that we're not using it. And it goes into our closet where we have a special area for it. When we got this patio furniture, we had to get covers for it for when it rains. And I tried to make sure that we put those away as soon as we don't need them anymore. And it, of course, I've put them into plastic containers that I already had, these plastic bags, and then I found a special place for them to live on a shelf in our garage. This rule even works for my bread maker, so when I'm done using it, I put it away. Making the bed is such a great habit to adopt. I adopted this as an adult and I absolutely love the feeling of getting into a made bed at night. I also love that when I walk by my bedroom or have to go into my bedroom during the day, I see my room tidied, everything put away, and it isn't a big sloppy mess of blankets all over the place. I've simplified everything so we only have the two pillows that we use to prop ourselves up to read at night, and it's so easy to make this bed, and it sets the tone for my entire day to get this bed made in the morning before I leave the room. Whenever I'm done working on a project in the kitchen, I'm always making sure to wipe down the countertops and clean them with some soap whenever possible. This way it sets me up for being more successful when I want to start the next project. I don't have to stop and clean the whole counter. I know it's ready. I know it's clean and we can jump right into the next baking project or cooking dinner, lunch, whatever that might be for the day. Having a laundry system has transformed my home and it's also helped us to stay on top of the laundry and not get overwhelmed by it. So it doesn't really matter what system you come up with. I always suggest coming up with the system that works best for your family. Right now with our family, we have five people living here and I have gone to doing laundry every single day. I combine all of our laundry into one load I do everything together, colors, whites. We don't have a ton of white laundry, but you have to do what works for you and that works for us. There are no rules when it comes to laundry. You can make your own rules, which it's kind of funny because some people think there are all these rules to laundry, but just do what makes you happy, do what works for you. And then I like to wash our sheets and our towels usually in a separate load. And that I usually do every other week or the towels as needed. And I just find having a system set up really helps us to know what we're doing and when. And the other thing I like to do is make sure my laundry is completed in that day. So washed, dried, and folded, put away, everything done by the end of the day. I got my boys these laundry bags that you can see hanging here. So I have one in our baby's room and we have one in the joint boys room. I have found this to be the easiest solution. They put the laundry in there and then I take it into our garage where we have our laundry and I dump it in and do a load. Any system is better than no system. 
Deal with paper right away. This is the best solution for not having a bunch of paper clutter and junk sitting around on your counters. What I do is the second I get the mail, I bring it into our house, open it up, see what we need to keep, what bills we need to pay, do it immediately, and then I take all of the junk mail, I put it straight into our recycling bin, as you can see here, the kids stuff that comes into our home, I go through that immediately, I pick out the things we might keep and I recycle the rest. Here's a clip from when I went through all of the paper that I had way back five years ago when we initially did our first decluttering in our home and man, what a chore that was. So now I just deal with paper immediately and I don't keep things I don't need. Adopt a decluttering habit. What this is for me is as I'm going through my regular day in my home, this could be during the weekend, any time of the day, I find things that I'm not wearing or I don't need anymore. I pull them out and I put them into my bin of things to be decluttered right away. I rarely now do a full day of decluttering where I'm going through searching for things. I just gather things as I see that we are not using them. Here I'm in my youngest son's room and I am putting some of his clothes away. So I realized this was the time to grab out all those clothes that he is not wearing anymore. They don't fit him as well, or maybe they're out of season. So I'm grabbing all those out and I'm adding them to the bin. I keep a box in my closet where I put all of these things. You could put a box in your car. You could put a bag by the back door or the front door, wherever it works for you. I tend to gather the things up because I only want to go one time. Our donation location is not super close. So I gather up the items and then I'm ready to donate them. I no longer have these huge whole house declutter days anymore. It's more of a maintenance for us, but by integrating this into my everyday life as an everyday habit, it's made it so much easier to stay on top of the clutter. And of course, living in a clutter-free space makes it way easier to clean. We're not having to move a bunch of stuff around that we don't really need just to get a space clean. I like to clean dishes as I go. And what this means is as I'm baking something or if I'm making dinner, as soon as I'm done doing all the chopping and I've just added all of those items to the pan, it started cooking, I will quickly wash the cutting board and knife and just put it on the side, on the counter. I don't have a dishwasher, so that's why I do that. But I find it so much easier to stay on top of the dishes if I do this as I'm in the kitchen working and just continually washing as I go. Having less decor makes it easier to clean. This is by far one of the best things about being a little bit more minimal and trying to stay clutter free is having less tchotchkes and decor items sitting on top of tables. For instance, on these shelves here I just cleaned, I only have the one plant. I don't have a whole bunch of little things that I have to take down and wipe off. I just move the one plant and I do some dusting and then I'm done. Doing a quick reset at night before bed helps our house to stay clean and really helps to set us up for the next morning to have a productive morning, hit the ground running. And I usually focus on having the kitchen clean because of course in the morning, we're starting out with breakfast right away. So I wanna be set up and ready to get going in the morning with a clean kitchen that's nice and tidy. Normally I focus on the obvious things just like dishes, wiping down the counters. I'm not going into cleaning floors or anything really in depth here, but I do like to pick up things that might be left out on the floor or the dining room table if possible, and also gathering up any laundry that was in the dryer to fold that and put it away before bed so that way I'm not having to wake up to that in the morning and I'm just ready for the next day. A monthly reset really helps us to stay on track. This is where I will dig in a little bit deeper if I want to declutter a certain area. Usually once a month, I will focus on one area in our home, which could be the, this hall closet, for instance, or it could be my boy's room or the towel closet. I usually pick 
one area in our home to dig in a little deeper, declutter the things that we don't really need, do a reorganization if needed, or just organize and put things away if needed or if they are being restocked. And then I also do a deep clean once a month of our home. So unlike all these quick little daily tasks that help me stay on track, the monthly reset is usually going a little bit further into cleaning, so that might be scrubbing certain areas that really need attention, that have been looked over, and just focusing on one per month. I don't normally dig into the whole house because that would just be overwhelming, but on my channel, I do share a lot of resets here, usually once a month, and then I also usually do a whole house clean once a month as well, just to share that inspiration and motivation. The great thing is a reset helps me to notice the things that need to be restocked. This could be food items or cans that we wanna keep stocked up on, and then also toilet paper, necessity items that I just wanna keep track of and know what we have. Putting shoes away will make your home look tidier and it will make it easier to clean. We store our shoes in our closet except for the current pair that we are wearing, but I understand if you wanna store your shoes in the garage or at the back door, the front door, it doesn't really matter, but finding a place to store your shoes will make it so much easier to clean and tidy up your home. Keep the counters clear. This is my favorite habit for keeping our bathroom clean because I already don't like cleaning bathrooms. So by keeping the counters clear, except for our hand soap, it's so easy to jump in the bathroom and spray down the counters, wipe them down really quick, and keep the bathroom clean. The nice thing is I'm also not having to dust a whole bunch of little trinkets and bottles that are out on the counter. It's already ready for me. And I also love the look of walking into our bathroom and not seeing a whole bunch of clutter on the countertop. It's just visually appealing to have it clear. The habit of vacuuming often has really transformed our home to be a lot cleaner overall on the daily because I have three kids, as I mentioned before, they drop crumbs everywhere as well as me and my husband. We also track dirt in the house and make a mess, so I try to vacuum often. Whenever I have an extra moment, I'll grab out the vacuum and just do a quick little run through the house with the vacuum. The nice thing about this is it helps to keep our house cleaner longer because we're not tracking the dirt as much through the house if I can stay on top of the areas that get the most traction in our house. Don't put it down, put it away. This is a habit that I really love because it helps us to keep our home clean without a lot of effort. So instead of setting an item down on the dining room table or the kitchen counter, I will try to take it straight to where the item belongs. This helps us to stay more organized. It helps me to avoid a lot of the messes that quickly accumulate in our home and makes the cleaning process easier. You can click right here to watch more videos and make sure you subscribe to join my simple living community and I will see you in the next video. Bye!